Okay, I'm going to try and teach you how to do conditional formatting. This is useful as a teacher because you might want to uh, color code your students and, and their results to see how they're going, compare them to the predicted results. So here um, in this column I've got their predicted grades. This is obviously based on previous year's results. This is the results in test one, their first test, and this is the results in test two. So I'm going to try and color code this so I can see if they're above or below their predicted grade. So it's nice and easy. Over the year, you should start to see a trend. Hopefully, they're all going towards the green. Um, but it's also a very useful, quick way to see if they're above or below target and to share this with parents. So what you need to do is click on the cell um, that you want to change and then click Condition Formatting. We'll then go to Highlight Cell Rules and Greater Than, first of all. So I'm going to color this green if it's greater than their predicted grade. So we need to change the color. So it's green, or old school. And then write equals B2, because that's the cell with the predicted grade in it. Make sure you don't put any dollar signs in it because that will mean that all these grades of the other students will be compared to James's predicted grade. So you only want them, um, you need to make sure they don't have the dollar signs so that they're getting compared to their own predicted grade. And click OK. Oh, and you can see it's already changed because he's done better than his predicted grade. Now, we're going to add another rule in so that if he had got less than, it will go a red colour. Now it's already on red for us, so we just need to equals B2 again, because we're comparing to his predicted grade. So we click OK. And it, it's not changed colour, it shouldn't have changed colour because he's done better than his predicted grade. Now we want to apply this to um, all the cells below him. So using a MacBook, this is what it looks like. We're going to click on this paintbrush so we can copy formatting from one location to another. So click on that and then we're going to drag it down and hopefully we'll see a nice little rainbow occur. Brilliant. So now I'm going to do the same thing in this other um, test result. So we can start to see if there's any trends occurring. So we're again greater than and you have to type it in again as far as I know. Otherwise um, it will compare to their previous test results. So we're going for greater than, so we're going green again. And then, oh, it's not changed colour. So he's not done better than his predicted grade. And then we'll go to less than. And it's in red, which is what we want. Click equals B2 again. Okay. Oh dear, he's gone red. So he's obviously something's happened. Um, not done so well in that test result. So again, we're going to see how the whole class has done, see maybe it was a really hard test or maybe James just didn't study enough. So we've got quite a few reds going on here. We've got a few students that are now on their target grade, so these guys were above and now they're on. Um, and we've got a few guys that are above their target grade, but you can see um, this person slipped from what he was last time. So that maybe will be an indication that test two was really hard. And as a teacher, maybe you need to go back over and cover some more of the content again um, to help the students with this. Hopefully you can see how helpful this can be as an informative feedback tool for you and for your students. Um, and hopefully I've explained it in a way that's simple for you to do yourself. Mm -hmm.